my name is Tara and if this is your first time coming to my channel then hi nice to meet you I am a mommy on Weight Watchers who uh, is a mommy to a seven month old I work full time and this is pretty much just my life in um, video form and if you are returning back and you're a current subscriber hi thank you guys for joining in again. I am tired, but I am making content for you guys because I am determined to do more than like a video every um, year. <laughs> so tonight I'm really, really excited about what I'm making. Um, I am making a cheeseburger casserole that I got from Skinny Kitchen. Um, Lauren told me about her um, website so i went on the website and um found that recipe um but yeah so i'm making that tonight i also grabbed a little haul from the grocery store so i thought i would just kind of do that with you it's just like two i think just actually three meals sorry i need to put my hair up because this is don't want hair in my food you feel me you feel me feel me you feel me all right so is this is a pound i feel like this is not a pound it's a little less than a pound so that's a little sad um but i got the ground beef 93 percent lean for my um cheeseburger casserole they're making tonight so you'll just need that and then um, I got some deli meat, turkey, cheese for tonight. That's for the meal. Um, corn. This is for another um, recipe this week. Sorry, I can only see on my face. I had these for everyone brownies. If you follow me on Instagram, which pop on down there below, my Instagram is uh, ww underscore Tara Dawn, T A R A D A W M. Um, Fiber One sent me a sample of these bars and they're so good. So I got some Halo Top because I told you guys I was going to take the Halo Top and then melt that brownie on top. And oh my god, I can't wait. It's going to be so good. I just know it. Um, Worcestershire, is that how you say it? That's for tonight. Um, GQ's barbecue sauce is not for tonight. You know what? I completely forgot to grab um, chicken for that. So I'm going to have to go back to the store and um, do another order. Um, Diet Dr. Pepper. That's for tomorrow, which now I'm probably not going to be able to do tomorrow because <sighs> this is my life. This is my life. Um, cottage cheese for tonight and then crescent rolls for tonight. I'm like really sad. Ugh. So, I'm gonna put all of the stuff I'm not using up real quick. I'm like really, really sad. I was like gonna get two videos up this week, but clearly that's not what is occurring. So, I'm really sorry guys. I am, I am really, really trying to get content out. Um, I was, I posted like three posts on my Instagram today. Like. I am really, really trying to get posts to you guys. Um, I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> um, so I'm really, really sad because I thought I was going to have two videos, but it's fine. Um, it is what it is. I can't control that. Um, so it's fine. I will make the video um, on Monday then. So that's fine. Okay. So last two things to put up. don't need a lot so I'm gonna lay out everything that you need and then there's a few things that I didn't add but I will um, in the description box I will put the link directly to the recipe giving full credit to Scandy Kitchen okay so this is literally all the ingredients that you'll need um, you need meat obviously because it's a cheeseburger um, you will need craft fat-free cheddar cheese you will need cottage cheese you will need reduced fat crescent rolls they were out of Pillsbury at um, Reezers, so I grabbed this one. Um, mustard, 
ketchup, it calls for regular ketchup. I'm using the G uh, Hughes to make mine a little bit less than points. And then Worcestershire sauce. So um, I will post exactly what all you include down below for you guys. Um, let me see if this will work. I'm gonna, oh my gosh. Hmm. Okay, it's not gonna work. And I think this is gonna be too high. Hi. Um, also, you're getting garlic powder. I forgot to mention that. And then pretty much whatever you kind of want to like season your meat with. I'm also going to se season mine with minced onion. And then I'm going to grab some garlic too because why not? Um, I'm going to grab my olive oil cooking spray. Check out my son. He's fine. Okay. So I'm just going to dive right into this. To be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame And being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Okay guys, so always read instructions or you will never, ever make it in life. Um, I was supposed to put the croissants in there first for like seven minutes and then cook for 20, um, but I didn't. Um, I read that part earlier, but I didn't reread it, so obviously I didn't do it. So I'll let you know how it turns out. Also with the cottage cheese, she said that you could, it works best if you put it in a blender with water, but as I talk about a lot on my channel, I'm a mommy on the go, and um, that was one less step for me to do, so I'm gonna see how it turns out. I mean, it's cottage cheese, it's gonna melt in the um, oven anyway, but with all the ingredients that I used, um, it's gonna make six, six servings at eight, six, yeah, six servings at eight points each. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wait for this little bad boy to cook all right guys so this is the casserole mine came out to eight smart points per slice but as you can see it's a very thick slice it's really good um this is the full pan so the crust ended up being fine um it really is fine so that's good so um let me do a little taste test here and grab a fork get a little good bite of everything can you see that oh maybe i should wait i just want to try it now mm. dang that is really it's really good do you want to try it Oh, okay. It is so good. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. It's eight smart points. Like, what? 
so good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you it gave you some inspiration to make this for your next meal. Um, if you did like this video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment so I can say hi. Um, I appreciate you guys so much for watching this. Um, and I appreciate you guys so much. So if you want to see more content, just like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.